We're here in San Francisco with the Palace of Fine Arts at the premiere of Game of Thrones. These types of premieres are old hat in Los Angeles and New York, but they're still rare here in Silicon Valley. So tonight, we're talking to members of the cast, creators, and HBO executives about why they decided to schedule a premiere here, and the way technology is changing how we watch these shows and how they find their fans. This week, we had a, a lot of fans here, a lot of very enthusiastic people asked us to come. We have a lot of partners out here who've been incredibly generous about amplifying the word about Game of Thrones. 18 and a half million people viewed the trailer on YouTube in the first uh, week alone. So whenever we feel the love and enthusiasm, we're happy to come and the cast was happy to come, David and Dan were happy to come, so we, could, we couldn't be more thrilled. Well, you know, I think every little bit helps. I mean, there's, there's no doubt that we're, we're moving into a, a new age of media and the days when a, a writer could just write his books and uh, have them published and never interact with the public are, are gone. Um, you know, we, we do have all these new social media and, and all these ways of, of reaching out. And um, I think that trend is likely to continue. Um, where it's going to lead, I, I really have no idea. You know, I'm, I'm partly still a, a kind of guy who would like to tie messages to the legs of ravens to, uh, to get the word out. But uh, uh, I do use a computer. I have since 1982. So I'm uh, adapting as best I can to this, uh, to this new world. Yeah, we're, we're building. I mean, both with the books and, and I think with the television show, we've gotten great word of mouth. Uh, you know, people read the books and tell their friends about the books, and people watch the show and tell their friends. So, you know, that's, that's to my mind, the best way of, of uh, building an audience when, when people like what you're doing and they tell other people. And, of course, uh, the, the social media has made word of mouth uh, viral now, uh, where it used to be just telling a few friends around a water cooler. Now it goes all over the world and uh, in, in an instant's time. So. If anything, word of mouth is even more important than it was uh, a long time ago. Yeah, well, I uh, I watch a lot on my TV, but um, when I'm sort of touring and throwing to different countries, I go on iTunes and um, uh, on my phone and on my laptop and things like that. Uh, sometimes I stream from the internet and stuff. But yeah, I think uh, I like how um, widespread the um, different ways of watching things are now, and uh, it's, it's great. Well, technology is completely changing the way that I, I, I watch entertainment um, because of when you do my job and you can't just sit down at a designated time or hour to sit down and watch a show so absolutely downloading shows Netflix all of the above is um, makes a big difference to being able to be a part of modern culture and what's going on and do you think that's contributed to the way the fan base has grown for the show definitely because if you can watch on demand at any time whatever's best for you then you're not going to miss show anymore and you're not going to and you're not going to be out of the loop anymore so it's brilliant. It only enhances the fan base, right? I'm from Denmark, and I have, after the first season, there was a lot of people in the streets that said, hey, I saw the show, and I was like, you did? Really? It aired two days ago in the States, and how? No, no, it was, it was, it was online. I'll buy the Blu-ray. So I think uh, the internet is, is, is spreading it out in a beautiful way. I mean, I, obviously with social media, it, it's amazing for this show. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, we do a, a press line here, and, and they all discuss it, and we have some some really good fans and they they you know they it's a way for because the show has has grown so much and it's it's been watched all over the world the fans can actually have you know they discuss it across borders which is great look our shows at, at their best are all passion engagement shows for different parts of our 30 million subscribers. Girls is a passion engagement show. Curb is a passion engagement show. Uh, uh, Boardwalk is a passion engagement show. Uh, True Blood is a passion engagement show. So, you know, every, every one of our shows that kind of hit the zeitgeist as we hope that they do has real core ad ad addicted you know, uh, uh, fans in the audience, and and it becomes very catalytic, and the social media power of that conversation becomes very catalytic. So I think that show, our show here with Thrones, is very much in the tradition of our real passion engagement shows across the board. I think the producers are quite concerned about piracy. I think I think they they do take it seriously, and um, personally, I I think it's you know it's great that people are watching the show on mass and I'm very happy about that and it does spread word about the show and snowballs and the show gets bigger because of that. 
but um, I can't say I advocate piracy because it's you know without without people paying for the show we can't make the show and it's expensive. You know, most of the pirating I know the pirating is a very celebrated conversation um, is is international, and we close it down you know as best we can uh, here in the United States. And I think the real not to bury the lead, the the, the real truth is you know 12 million people are watching Game of Thrones on HBO or HBO Go or HBO On Demand or any of the various means of optionality that that, that exists for people to to uh, to see the show and that that's a very exciting number and we think that number is going to even increase this year and may become could very well become the, the, the most watched show in our history.